here today to thank you and others in this community for doing just that. And you will see by the end of the, the program today how many people worked on this depot in so many ways. And uh, we have a representative from the Canadian Pacific Railroad. Um, delighted to have Dan Hansen here, their projects um, manager, Dan. Ah, there's Dan. You're going to see him later. I'll just cut the ribbon. Um, now our to, to our critical local partner, the city of Northfield, which deeded this vacant land to us and has been so collaborative and supportive. And I want to note that I am not known for being gratuitous. I am very sincere in saying we have had incredible cooperation and support by all the city staff that's been standing and sitting around here. So thank you, Ben Marvick, city administrator, for joining us today. Thank you, Alice. Um, and I'm Ben Marvick, city administrator, city administrator for Northfield. I'm here today on behalf of Mayor Connell, who unfortunately was unable to join all of us today. Uh, this very Examples of those kinds of contributions. And uh, I'll apologize in advance. We could only choose a few. I'm going to write a book about this. Um, but at any rate, we're going to have samples of um, the targeted monetary donations, the donations of archival objects, and the donation of time and skills. We received Elizabeth. Thank you for inviting me to when I asked my mom why this project meant so much to her, she would say it was necessary to fight to save things that can't be replaced. And the depot represented so much to Northfield. You see that the rip line on the depot extends about eight feet off the walls. Those rip sections are held up by 25 separate core bells, or knee brackets as I like to call them. And they were, uh, 50 of them were on the original building when it was moved here, and 10 were missing. So a project was undertaken to build the remaining 10 and I'm here to tell you how that project rolled out. Okay, Ben and Dan and Rob and I are going to cut the ribbon. Get on the
So I just had to make my way down here for the ribbon cutting. The last time I was here, the big boy was coming through and they were doing their save to depot and raising some funds. I made a video of that and I'll link it to the end of this one. But uh, now you've seen what was going on outside. Let's go inside, see what it looks like inside. And then I'll let you go from there. You guys have a great day. God bless you all. I'm looking at construction of things and you can see these concrete plugs. I'm in the basement. And those concrete plugs is where they would have had beams coming across to hold this when they moved this from its original spot. I just think that's kind of interesting. This is the basement of the depot. This is kind of cool. They have a video down here running of when they moved the depot. How's that?